this is uh, I parked here in uh, the road going to Croiser village and uh, there's the uh, oh, hang on, a nice sunny day for a change Snowden's over there snow capped the Welsh Matterhorn is ahead uh, yeah about a three hour walk I think Cars was parked there. Okay. Nice little cottage there on the left. A little bit of traffic on this road. It's still a holiday week, Easter holiday week for some, for quite a few people. But it's a, it's a, it's a pleasant, uh, a pleasant road to walk along. Still work there. Over there is uh, Molwyn Mow. It's 2,560 feet above sea level, I think. And, yeah. and of course, you can just see there the top of the Welsh Matterhorn. Entering the little village of Crosa, which uh, is a starting point for the centre of the Welsh Matterhorn, Sinich. And uh, the mountaineer and uh, author Charles Stiles uh, lived here towards the end of his life and kept a little post office here which uh, no longer uh, no longer exists. It's the village. Uh, the largest building there, of course, is the Welsh Chapel. No longer... Uh, well, I think it may still be used. Oh, oh, look at that. That's... Uh, yeah. This is the uh, car park for Ascending Sinich. It looks like it's uh, Ram Jam full. Welcome in Welsh. There's the Avon Crosser. Right a little resting place or a memorial for a, a Bob Owen, 1885 to 1962. little seating area and there's the Welsh chapel that looks like it's now been uh, done up for a private residence okay I just have a little break here short climb out of the village and uh, go along here for a, a little while and then go back down there back down to the main road Well, that's where people are going up there at uh, the Welsh Matterhorn, Sinich. And uh, up this uh, lane, which itself ends just here, it goes into gravel, and then the, the route up to the, the Matterhorn or the Welsh Matterhorn goes up to a ridge. But I'll be going down here uh, to this, uh, uh, go down on a footpath back down to the main road. Mulwins, Sinich, and here's a nice little whitewashed cottage, but I shouldn't have come up that private, that's a private driveway, there's someone there, but I could have been, I don't know, they might possibly objected, but, uh, so really I, uh, I think the footpath uh, is uh, somewhere around here. Spring. The little lambs basking in the sun. Yeah, there's the footpath there. And I'm hoping it's still okay because uh, of that storm we had not long ago. A couple of walkers, uh, so I know the way's clear. And it does look like a, a little bit of a trodden footpath here. Nice footpath here. 
It's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's those walkers do come along here. It's a reasonably well trodden. Of course, excellent mountain views. More hebug. We're just sent along this footpath, and here's a. I've always uh, taken notice of this hideaway house here. There's a driveway going to it, a gravel driveway. It doesn't look like there's anyone there at the moment. It's that hideaway house. Looks quite nice in the sunshine. I think all this uh, ground here belong, belongs to that house. So. Snowden in the distance there. This is a good spot for a panoramic view. Right here. Yeah, beautiful North Wales scenery. There's the uh, magnificent Snowden up there. Of course, I haven't got uh, this, is just a digital uh, telescopic, so it won't. Now, there's the Welsh Matterhorn. And there's the uh, another excellent mountain range, the Morwins. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, excellent. Break here. This rock here. And uh, the uh, snow on Morwin Mower has just about disappeared. the valley and the Avon Crosal. Avon Crosal. Yeah. I just descended down there. No no problem really. Almost back to the main road. Uh, this bridge that goes across the Avon Crosal uh, well it doesn't need there's no footpath there. There's the that one. There's a nice little. I believe this. Oh, I think that's a. I'm pretty sure that's a. A second holiday home, but I may be wrong. Road walking here. The footpath joined, uh, or the the main road just there. But on this main road here, you, you have a good view. <laughs> the Welsh Matterhorn. Road without a turning. And uh, well less than half a mile from where the main road walking. Off the main road here. I haven't been up this little footpath here before. So it uh, looks well trodden. There's the bus. Ah. Dropping off a passenger. The uh, S97. Oh no! <laughs> oh, God, that's not a road. The S97, one of the Snowden Sherpa buses. But uh, yeah, I haven't been up there. It's only a short footpath up to the road or the lane. But uh, oh, <laughs> nice steps here. After the winter rains, this is what you get, I'm afraid. Uh, lots of mud. Uh, but this is where the uh, the path uh, meets the uh, meets the lane. And uh, okay, 
maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's blocked off there. So must go along there. I'm back on the lane. And uh, not many walkers along here. I've upset the, the local the local watchdogs. They're down there somewhere. To the end of this walk. And my car is parked just the cottage. Uh, well, just about maybe a little over a quarter of a mile ahead. Uh, flourishing, a little flourish to the finish for this walk.